legs made today a six leg type beach i always like to use a lot of pads on those stuff so let's start building a core progression with this pad right here we can make any core progression let's open right here if you don't know nothing about building cords just go with the white notes and build like this make a white note skip a white note white note skip a white note and white notes this way you can always build chords and we will be always on key so let's use this now let's make other chord right here using the same stuff white notes skip right here white notes skip right here white notes Alright, I think this is sounding good. Always the same thing. White notes, skip one, white notes, skip one, white notes. You can check it out. All those chords are working exactly like this. White note and skip a white note. White note and skip a white note. So this way you can always be, uh, build chords and be on key. If you want to make a different key like this one. Oh, I don't want to use on white notes. I want to make like other keys. Because this key right here will be A minor. This first chord right here is a A minor and this right here is a progression on A minor. A minor only uses white notes. So if you only use white notes, it will be or in A minor or in C, C major. C major and A minor, both of these keys, they only use white notes. But you don't have to use only them. So you can build chords with this and then, oh, I want to test it out other key. So let's put right here, C sharp minor, let's hear it. This one right here, I'm thinking, this is sounding like too low. Let's take this one and this other one. And we are going to take those notes, I'm going to press Ctrl and arrow up to send this a octave higher. So as you can see, this note right here, is the same note as this right here, as the original form of the chords. I just send it octave higher, so I can do this if I want to make like the chord sound a little higher or lower, but remaining at the same chord. This right here is the same chord as this one, all right? So you can change this whatever you want. I think we can put some melodies right here. After you make this and you want to like put the grid behind it on the right keys. This you can do on FL Studio 21. We're going to this option right here. Right click, I'm going to put minor and then I'm going to click again and I'm going to put C sharp. Now what happened is this grid right here, the brighter lines right here on this background will be the notes inside of the key so you can play around with those notes and always build something on the key all right i like it I like it. This right here is kind of a simple melody. We can use this on other stuff right here. Could be something like this. Let me just test it out. I'm going to copy only those melodies that I just made. Here are the chords. Now let's take this melody and I'm going to test it out on other instruments right here. I think this is sounding better. All 
Alright, so on this pad right here, I'm going to mute those melodies because those melodies will be playing played by other instruments right here. Only this one. Alright, so we have two instruments right here. Alright, I like it. Now, I want to add this. This is like a bass. You can search on your VSTs some bass that look like this. Right now, I'm using an EQ on this because this is actually like this. But I'm removing the lower notes because I actually want to use other bass. But I want this texture, so I only use this texture right here and I will not use the bass part. And I'm going to go on the chords that we just made. And now I need to remember the first notes of the chords when we build the chords. You remember white notes, white notes, white notes, and everything. Then we made an inversion. We take those notes right here, which they are right here, right? So what happened is those notes right here, which are the first notes of the chords, are the tonic notes. Oh, this is not the, the first note of the chord, this is the third note. Yeah, but this is an inversion. Remember, this was right here when we built the chords, alright? So those are the tonic notes of the chords. And usually, we use those notes to make the bass. Usually, don't always. But usually, most of songs are like this. We can use this octave lower. And this will be the bass. The bass on the chords. And we are going to copy this and paste this on this other bass too. Which are this one. That I talked about a little earlier. So we'll be like this. Alright. I'm using this one for texture and this other one the exactly same notes but just the bass so they together they will sound good all right so I like to make bass like this one is just the texture and one is just the bass so I uh, different instruments Now, we can make a vocal sample. La, na, na. You can sing something over it and then put a lot of effects. I'm going to show you how to do it. Mm, mm, mm. Let's record this. Do, 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 oh. Hey, hey, yeah, whoa, uh, hang, yeah. All right, so this is the vocal sample. We just recorded my voice right here. I'm going to put this. I'm actually going to put a preset right here. The most important thing on this is to put an auto tune with the right key. The right key will be, we have to remember the key, was minor and was C sharp. And now we have the EQ. So we make the EQ, EQ as we want, and the reverb and delay. So this is the preset. Now I'm going to click right here on the audio clip with the voice. On mode, I'm going to go to Stretch Pro and change the format. We can try this on the octave that I sing or octave higher. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I like to make some fade-ins on those vocals. So I'm going to make something like this. Fade-ins on them. I like the way they're fading sounds. I'm going to keep everything kind of the same volume. Now we need to add the drums. So let's go right here in your pattern. Let's use this very simple drums. And we can play with the bass with the kicks. So where is the bass? We can switch the octaves a little bit with the kick. So, it now this will be the base for the chorus I like to change the base on the verse so I'm going to copy this base new pattern and this will be the pair the base for the verse I like to stop the base when the snare hits This will be the base for the verse. Now we need to add a crash. And the only thing that we have to do right now is structure the beat. So if you want to learn more about music production, there is my online course, first link on the description. So if you want to learn more about making beats and all that stuff, check it out, first link on the description. Let's structure this. We are going to start with the intro. Right here, let's add some stuff. Let's put them drums right here. I'm going to go on this track right here, which are the drums. And consolidate. This will render the drums to wave. Right, so now we have the drums on wave right here. I'm going to put this on a new channel. Actually, I'm going to put the pitch down and put this on a new channel and I'm going to add a EQ and cut some frequencies all right Now, right here will be the chorus. You can keep those vocals or you can remove on the chorus because the artists will be singing right here, so it kind of doesn't need. But sometimes some artists like this right here on the background, some others don't. Uh.
now let's make the verse first first part of the verse right here second part of the verse right here we are going to use the bass for the verse and mute the bass of the chorus and we are going to mute most of the stuff because we want the verse very clean super clean second part of the verse i like to change a bit Right now, right here, we everything will repeat. We are going back to the chorus. I'm going to make these vocals on the chorus a little lower. Yeah, this is better. So, right here. Everything repeats. Right here will be the third chorus, which will be the last chorus. And right here will be the outro. So that's it, if you like it, give it a like, subscribe, subscribe to the channel and if you want to learn more about making beats, my online course will be on the first link on the description. Now let's play the whole beat.